brothers in Christ, even, even if you are a female, because there is no male or female in Christ, if you grow into that, but that will be reflected in your life. You won't act like a female if you got Jesus in you. That don't mean you act like a male either. That means you act like Jesus. See, I don't act like a male anymore. I'm acting like Jesus. Now, I hope it don't offend nobody the way I talk because I, I just got to let it out because it's in me. Then from a brother, you grow into becoming a son. A son of God. I ain't there yet. But I don't know when I get there. And so will you. And I believe he's going to have some people get there because you know what? It's needed out there because there's no semblance of the true power of the Lord on this planet out there right now. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly but by reason of hope, who has subjected the same in hope because the creature itself also being delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. You know what? Being children of God, we got glorious liberty. It's there for us. But you got to grow into it. Because you got an adversary that's going to try to take everything that you got from God, from you. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travails in pain together. Now, ain't that so true? Look at this world. Look at the condition of the world. It is crying out in the cities, in the streets, murder, mayhem. On the planet, you got these countries killing, destroying, hate, envy. Blacks don't like whites, whites don't like black, Asians don't like, it's just crazy. But God, but God, but God got a kingdom he can put his children in where ain't none of that existing. He wipes it out of your life. And not only that, but we also have are the, which are the first fruits of the spirit, even we grown within ourselves waiting for the adoption to wit, the redemption of our body. Yeah, we got some things going on in our body that we got to pray for and that we got to, we moan and groan a little bit for it. But see, I'm getting, I'm moaning and groaning less and less. I'm doing more praising and thanking than moaning and groaning. Amen. I found out it's more beneficial. Come on, yeah. See, ain't, not, ain't nothing like thanking him for a blessing and getting another one. Yeah. Whoa, I don't know where that came from. Thank you, Lord. Well, I don't know. I was in pain, but guess what? You took that pain away. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. All I had to do was step in your house and boom, yeah. anointing hit me. Yeah. All I had to do was make that step towards you and boom, he changed it. Keep stepping towards him and watch him keep blessing you and doing what I need to do. For we are saved by hope. But hope that is seen is not hope. But what a man seeth, why does he yet hope for it? But if we hope for that which we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. I think Lamar said something about that patience today. Just wait on it. Just trust him. Just hold on. You done did enough in your life. You, 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 you should, ain't none, nobody on the line in this place should doubt the Lord for anything. Well, he done did it in our lives. I, I look at some of y'all and just say, Lord, thank you. Thank you for, for what you did in their life. Because that strengthened my faith. Yes, yes. All of y'all. What you done brought them from. I ain't worried about what you're in because he's going to get you out of that too. Yes. Like, like Lamar said today, we ain't going through coming out. Yes. We're saved by hope. Hope that it seems not hope for what a man sees. Why do you get hope for it? But we hope for that we see that then do we patiently wait for it. Likewise, the Spirit also helps with our infirmities, for we know not what we ought to pray for as we ought to. And isn't that so true? You know what my main prayers are? Help, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Forgive me, Lord. And let me make me so I please you. Everything else, the minute is in there. 
I don't have to pray, oh Lord, deliver my, my kids. Because I know you're going to deliver my kids. It's a problem. I remind them that he's going to deliver them. Likewise, the Spirit also helps with our inference when we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. That's the good part. Well, I don't know what to pray for. He does. So he prays for for you. That's a good thing. Had Jesus inside of you because you know what? I mess up a lot. I do the wrong thing, say the wrong thing, act the wrong way. But guess what? Because his spirit is inside me. He said he's covered in the blood. We're going to fix that. And I'm always acknowledging, Lord, you're right. I'm wrong. See, he, he is yes, Lord, in my life. Yes, Lord, you're right. I'm wrong. Some people think they know more than God. They make themselves the truth. I tell the truth. Half the time you don't even know what the truth is. And if you ain't speaking what Jesus did, you are not speaking the truth. He is the only truth. The world don't know that, but we do. And he that searches the heart knows what is the mind of the spirit. It's another thing that we are blessed with. Having the mind of the spirit. This carnal mind, it is dissolving, it is going away. And the spiritual mind of Christ that has the power to obey God and do his will and yield to his word and be filled with the things that he says is taking over our lives. That mind of Christ. If it wasn't a mind of Christ, it wouldn't have been in the Bible. Because he put it in the Bible, it's there available to the believer. And he searches the heart, knoweth the mind of the spirit, because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that all things work together for the good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son. I want to read that again so you can let this sink deep down into your spirit so you can realize what he is changing you into, what he is, you are being conformed into. You are dying. He is raising up Jesus. Behold, all things become new. And he that searches the heart knoweth with the mind of the spirit because he maketh intercession to the saints according to the will of God. And we know that all things work together for the good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purposes, pur purpose, for whom he did foreknow, he did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Amen. The first of many sons of God. That's what we're called to. That's what he will usher us into. But you can only get there by your faith in his work. Well, whom he did predestinate to them, he called whom? He called to them, he justified them. To whom he justified, he also glorified. What shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Who can, be, who can defeat Jesus? Who can stop him. No power, no Satan, no demons, no devils, no flesh, no people acting up and out. Amen. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. What shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who shall be against us? He spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. Everything that we get, we get through Jesus. Everything that's accessible to us is Jesus. Jesus has made himself accessible to us by faith in him. Amen. 
He spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? It's there for you. Give me, Lord. Give me. It's yours. You want to give it to me? Give it to me. Just teach me to make sure I do the right thing with it. And he said, don't take that light and put it under no bush. It was for the world to see. Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It's God that justify. I don't care what you did, what you've been in, who you are, how you are. If God justify you, justify. If God say, I'm going to usher you into my kingdom, guess what? You can come into his kingdom. And you know what? He got a kingdom for you right now, right down here, that's greater than that mess out there. But you got to believe that. Because faith is the only thing that's going to get you into what God got for you. Who is he that condemned it? <laughs> you know, the enemy being here all the time trying to tell you, uh, look at you. Look what you did yesterday. Look what you did today. Look how you acted. Look what's going on in your life. Look what's going on around you. He wants you to look at it. Jesus wants you to look at him. Jesus wants you to trust in his promises, trust in his deliverance. Holy Ghost remind you of what he done did for you. Now who you gonna believe? Amen. Who shall lay anything in charge of God's love? It's God that justifies. Who is he that condemneth? It's Christ that died, yea, rather that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us, not only we got the Jesus down here in us praying, we got the Jesus on the right hand of the throne of God praying, and we covered in the blood, and guess what? All power is given unto him. <laughs> Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation? Or distress? Or how about some persecution? Or how about give me a little bit of famine over here? Or a little bit of nakedness right there? Or a little bit of pearl, a little bit of sword? I don't care what he hit us with. We got the spirit of Jesus Christ in our life, and it is greater than him. As it is written, we, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. Even death ain't got no power over Jesus. Because it's life in him. When it's body and they put it six foot under, guess what? I ain't going to be there. I'm going to be with my Lord. And so are you if you trust and believe in him. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution? Or famine, or nakedness, or pearl, or the sword. And it's written, for that sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. God can defeat everything and anything on this planet. Yes. And I love Paul. He said, let me tell you something, for I'm persuaded. That neither death your life, and he, he, I don't care death, I don't care what's coming, what's going, what's, what's, what's been there, no angels, no principalities, no powers, no things present, no things come, no height, no death, no any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. It's your faith that's going to make that connection to you and give you the power to praise and thank him for what he's already done for you and reveal what is in you for his glory. So I just thank God for how he's moving in the midst of his people, how he's blessing us so many ways and so many things. Open up our eyes and our ears to so much truth and how the testimonies and the songs and the praise is coming through and encouraging us all to continue. Hold on to what God gives you. Protect it with all your strength and might. Seek him with all of your heart. And he will bring everything that he promised to pass. Amen? Amen. Let's give him some praise and some glory. And thanks for, for coming into our lives. For calling and choosing us.
to know him in the power of his mind. Brother Phil, how are you this evening, this today, my brother? I'm doing fine, Pastor. Praise God. Can you go ahead and close us out in a word of prayer, please? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, dear Lord, we thank you, Lord. What a powerful message. What a powerful insight, God, you remind us of who we are in you. We just thank you that you're mindful and it's all made possible through Jesus Christ. And we have that access, we've been sealed, Lord. We're covered in his blood and his righteousness. We thank you that we thank you for increasing our faith. We thank you for granting us the gift of life, the gift of family, the gift of finances, the gift of your spirit, the gift of your word, even your gift of love. We just thank you so much for you being who you are. Lord, we just love you with the, uh, the, the eternal love, Lord, because we have tasted of the world to come, and that is your spirit in our heart. Amen. And it's everlasting. And so, Lord, we just ask that you will continue to draw us near to you, those that don't know you. We ask that you uh, will, uh, will allow your mercy your, your uh, mercy to um, uh, allow them to be drawn closer uh, to you and gracious unto them. We ask, Lord, that we thank you for the the word that was so rightly divided, Lord, and increasing our faith and our trust in you. Uh, we stand in our, we depend upon you, you, Lord, our sufficiency of you. Without you, we can do nothing unless we abide in you. And so we just ask God that you accept our praise and our worship, our obedience, our love, our sacrifice, anything that we uh, may have to uh, sacrifice or give up, uh, we're willing to do. Our desire is that we be one with you and that we be conformed to the image of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is at the right hand praying and interceding for us. We ask that you keep us safe on the highways and byways as we go to our jobs, as kids, as they uh, starting their parents, preparing for them, children to get ready for school and things like that. We just thank you for what you're doing in the church body. We thank you for what you're doing in our spirits and our hearts. And from God that you will, uh, uh, that we will esteem your word above our necessary food. We ask that you will allow and accept our uh, surrender and yielding to you and your word, your spirit, your will, that you will accept us, that we may receive a smile of approval. Keep us today, but we may the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 I love you right back, my brother. We thank God for Jesus and all the things he's done for all of us. Amen. Y'all have a good day. Have a good week. Lord, we'll all get together Friday and praise him some more. And Brother Arthur will be ministering Friday. I will, I will, I will be listening in. But that's all. Thank you for being in church, family. Amen. Thank God for Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. Bye -bye. Amen. 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 Bye. Love y'all.